Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week we're going to do a review and a cook on the Cotton Gin Smoker. Stick around! Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to do a review and a cook on our Cotton Gin Smoker. And everyone asks me when I say that, you know, what is a Cotton Gin Smoker? A Cotton Gin Smoker is a barrel cooker. The main engine on this smoker is going to be your charcoal bar a bucket and then it has a heat shield around the outside and then over here you'll see I have a baffle plate which is tunable where you can uh, maneuver the baffles up and down to regulate the heat flow when you're in direct cooking and then also the grill grate. These pipes that you see coming out the sides this is the intakes for the air so basically just like on a on a Kamado style cooker you're you're adjusting the intakes for the air and then on the top, you have your exhaust, which you, you're actually opening and closing to regulate the air coming out. Uh, it comes standard with the handle. It comes standard with the, the, uh, the meat probe port. And we also had purchased the add-on uh, hanging system uh, for this smoker so we can actually hang the rack sits down on top of the on these bolts and then we can actually hang about 12 racks of ribs in it some of the features of this uh, of this smoker are the, the exhaust is on the on the lid again these are the intakes you know what's basically powering this is that heat shield and the uh charcoal basket and the good thing about this is a 16 gauge drum and on the powder coat for the black model it can withstand up to 1200 degrees the other colors are or they, they say about 600 degrees are standard the grill it comes with this nice plate uh, matt and his guys up there in in uh, michigan do a great job building these smokers a custom uh, gauge on there that's it's really actually very accurate we cook on this thing probably at least three times a week, and that's why it looks a little crudded up. I mean, we use it. We use it often. Uh, it's fun to cook on. It's easy to cook on, much like our Kamado. So, I mean, it comes with the, the hang, hanger for the, uh, the lid, and it's very efficient. You'll get 8, 12, 15-hour cooks on this cooker uh, with not really adding any, any features like a flame boss or something like that, that that you would typically need for a long cook very efficient you can use either charcoal briquettes or today we're using lump charcoal on it and we got a couple royal oak tumbleweeds in there and we're just going to do a pretty basic cook on it we're going to get this thing cleaned up a little bit we're going to cook direct and we're going to do some uh teriyaki style chicken on it today for the review but overall solid i mean the, it's easy to maneuver with the wheels good welding it's it, it's built rock solid i'd recommend if you enjoy cooking with charcoal enjoy cooking in your backyard i recommend this brand of smoker to anybody the customer service is out of this world you're dealing directly with the owner and this team does a great job so we're going to go ahead and fire this up and light off our tumbleweeds, let it come up to temp. And you can you can use a basket, a charcoal basket to, you know, chimney or whatever. Today I'm just gonna light some tumbleweeds down in there and we're probably not even gonna use any, any uh, wood today because we're just gonna be cooking hot and fast. So we'll get this fired up. We're gonna clean up our grill grate, but uh, you need to go and check these out, Cotton Gin Smokers. Again, they're on Facebook, they're online on Instagram. You can go to their website, give them a shout. They can custom build everything, different colors. There's some beautiful looking smokers Matt's built. Um, try hanging system, and then you can get your door with your custom logo on the front. Hopefully that's in the, our next, uh, step up into the cotton gin world was going to be getting the harvester which is they're really their top end model so let's cook some chicken stick around
Huh? Okay, everybody, we're gonna go ahead and get our marinated chicken on the cotton gin. Again, this is just marinating in some Korean barbecue sauce. I'll put where I got it in the description at the bottom of the page. So you can look it up for yourself. We're just gonna let these cook. We're gonna try to cook along about probably 250, 275 on these. They're not gonna take long. The boneless, skinless chicken thighs, so it'll be a quick, easy cook. Okay, we're gonna give our chicken a, a turn here. We're running around about 300, so I just wanna keep flipping it. I don't want it to get too dark, so. Hear that sizzling? Live fire down there. This is gonna be tasty. Stick around, y'all. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and check the temp on these. As you can see, man, those things are looking good. Get reading on them. Yeah, it worked. Bouncing around between. Yeah, these things are done. We're gonna go ahead and get them off. Especially that small one. Tell me that is some good looking chicken. This thing is easy to operate. You can make some damn good looking food. We're gonna take this over and let it rest for a couple minutes. A couple brief minutes. And we're gonna get it dry. Okay everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. We got our uh, chicken thighs that we marinated overnight in some Korean barbecue seasoning, or sauce, excuse me. And we're gonna go ahead and give them a try. We, we cooked them on the cotton gin for about 45 minutes, about 375. Uh, and we just used some lump charcoal. Um, we didn't put any uh, wood in it for smoking or anything like that. We just wanted to do a quick cook on it for the review. So we're gonna go and try this now. Let's see, nice and tense pull. I could probably don't even need a knife. I mean, it's just pull it apart. I'm gonna pick it up just like that. Mm. Got really good flavor. Uh, we love using this recipe on 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 chicken thighs. Uh, everybody in the family likes it. You get real good. Uh, the charcoal flavor, and if that's what you're looking for uh, when you're doing your cooks, I know a lot of folks like to use a pellet smoker. A lot of people like to use a Kamado style. Uh, you need to check out cotton gin smokers. It is it is the closest thing you're going to get to authentic that you can have right in your backyard, uh, and it, it's very portable. You can take it a lot of places. It's easy to use, and it's very well built. Go to cottonginsmokers.com. And reach out to Matt and his team up there. They'll be glad to help you out, and they can customize anything, and they're building great smokers. Please keep following us on Facebook. Go to Instagram, and go to YouTube. Like and subscribe. Get you some. Get your song.